There are several common causes that can lead to a diagnosis of GERD, or gastroesophageal reflux disease. We can use the mnemonics, reflux is probably mean, R-I-P-M, to help us remember these common causes. The R stands for relaxed or incompetent lower esophageal sphincter. The esophageal sphincter is that opening from our esophagus into our stomach. If that's relaxed or incompetent, all those gastric contents are gonna come back up, or reflux. The I stands for increased gastric volume. Gastric is our stomach. If we have a lot of volume in here, that's going to lead some, to some reflux there as well. The P stands for pyloric stenosis. Our pyloric valve is the valve between our stomach and our lower intestine. Stenosis means hardening or tightening. So if our pyloric valve is extra tight or extra hard, it's going to make it harder for gastric emptying to occur, and we're gonna to lead to that increased gastric volume. The M stands for motility disorder. With motility, we're talking about stomach motility and motility of our intestines. If we have some type of motility disorder there where that content isn't moving, this can lead to gastroesophageal reflux disorder. So use the, the mnemonic, reflux is probably mean, R-I-P-M, to help you remember the common causes of GERD. Subscribe and click the little bell so you can be notified when our next nursing mnemonics video comes out. Click the little box below for your free cheat sheet. And did you know we have a free nursing mnemonics course? Click the link in the description below and you can take that course for free. Happy, Happy nursing. nursing.